All right, so in this problem, um, again, we're going to determine if it's a divisor. So I make sure it's in standard form. I have x squared plus 1 as my divisor. And then that's going to divide into 3x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 12x squared. I notice that there is not an x term. So therefore, I'm going to add a 0x plus 5. Does everybody see what I did? Okay. Again, it's not required to have that 0x. But guys, I, I mean, this is already hard enough, the process. I think it just makes a lot more sense to put in a space value for you. Yes? That's your divisor. Divisor. You just... mm -hmm. OK, so now we're asking ourselves, how many times does x squared divide into 3x to the fourth? Again, if you're having trouble doing this or understanding this, it's first important not to talk when we're going over the problem. And secondly, I would just say write it into the side. Write it off to the side. Just do your math on a separate section. Three, our x squared goes into 3x to the fourth x squared times. Now you take that answer and you multiply it by both terms in your divisor. x squared times x. Oops, I'm sorry. That goes in there 3x times, right? So x squared times 3x squared is 3x to the fourth. 3x squared times 1 is a 3x squared. A big mistake students do is they put the 3x squared right here. The problem is you cannot combine x cubed and x squared. Because remember, when you're adding and subtracting, they have to be like terms, right? So since these are not like terms, don't put that there. You can only put the 3x squared under the other x squared. So then what should I put here? Well, we can use a spacer. Right? Now we subtract the rows. Again, this is where almost everybody makes a mistake. So be very careful what the signs are. 3x to the fourth minus 3x to the fourth is 0x to the fourth. Negative 4x cubed minus 0 is just still going to be um, negative, is still going to be a negative 4x cubed. Then 12x cubed minus 3x cubed. 12x cubed minus 3x cubed. Right? Think of it as like 12 apples minus 3 apples, right? Is going to be nine apples. nine apples. The x cubed still stay there. Yes? Oh, it's squared, yes. Sorry. Yes, you have squared apples. So therefore, that's going to be a positive 9x squared. You could subtract or bring these down, but unless you need them, I don't really um, worry to bring them down. So now we do the same process again. x squared divides into negative 4x how many times? So negative 4x cubed divided by x squared. Well, 1 goes into negative 4, negative 4 times. x squared goes into x cubed. Remember, subtract the powers. 3 minus 2 is 1. So that's x to the first. Oops, that's a minus. Minus 4x to the first power. Now we multiply that down. Negative 4x times x squared is going to be a negative 4x cubed. Actually, let me write it in red. Right? Negative 4x times 1 is a negative 4x. I can't subtract that from x squared, so I'm going to put that over here. So therefore, I'll bring down this 0x now to help me with my subtraction. I don't have an x squared, so then I'll use, again, another place value. Getting messed up with my. OK, so now I subtract the rows. Negative 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is 0x cubed. If you guys notice, that pattern is always going to happen. 9x squared minus 0x squared is? 9x squared. And then 0x squared minus a 4x? 0x minus a negative. Remember, minus a negative, guys, is the same thing as adding, right? So that is now a positive 4x. Now again, we keep on doing the process. x squared divides into 9x squared how many times? Nine. Positive 9 times. 9 times x squared is 9x squared. 9 times 1 is going to be a positive 9. I don't have an x to the fourth, so therefore I'll put into my space value. I'll bring down this 5. 
and then I subtract the rows. 9x squared minus 9x squared is going to be 0x squared. Do you guys notice how that first term always goes to 0? 4x minus 0x is 4x. And then 5 minus 9 is negative 4. So therefore, this is now my remainder. OK, so in the first example, I did not have a remainder. Now I have a remainder. Yes? Why did you multiply negative 4? For, uh, you remember how you wrote ne negative 4x multiplied by x squared equals negative x to the cube? No. He's, he's talking about when you divide yeah. it into negative 4x cubed. Yeah, why right. do you have to make it negative? Because when you did the 9, you didn't make that negative. Where? Where? In the negative 4. Because the this one? cube was negative cube. In the problem, it's given as negative. The other ones are given as positive. You have to keep saying that. Let me just finish the, writing the problem, then I'll try to figure it out. So to write our answer, okay, it's going to look like this. The quotient is your answer is 3x squared minus 4x plus 9. Now, since we have a remainder, I want you to write the remainder over your divisor. That is how you would write your answer. So if you have a remainder, add it to your quotient, and then write it over your divisor. Okay.